Yes, greetings family. We're at Trinity Home Academy and I'm with my good sister, Sonika Harrington, the positivity queen. And she says she feels very inspired right now. Tell me what you're inspired about. Okay, I just wanted, I had to come make a moment to say thank you. This is my first time actually coming to visit Trinity Home Academy, but I'm, I'm just so impressed by this gentleman. All hats up to you for helping the children, for all you've done in this community, for this for the, for the students, but even the teachers as well. I think that AfricaForTheAfricans.org yeah, is a positive, a positive, motivated um, business for us as African Americans to come home to help contribute and make donations. I truly respect you, Bumani. Thank you for in, in inviting me in this journey with you through Africa, for sharing your, your knowledge, for for helping so many people come back home. I mean, I, I really appreciate you as a man, as a brother. And um, don't stop doing what you're doing because you are really clearing the way and making a path for so many people to come through. For helping these children, I wish you nothing but much, many blessings. I absolutely appreciate the energy and uh, you know, the, uh, I thank everyone who has actually come on these journeys from 2007 up until now because we usually come like every year from that year. And then we started doing the multiple years, like two trips and we started coming twice uh, in the last uh, few years. But uh, the, the main thing, family, is, uh, is your support and your energy uh, when you come here. Thank you, family and everyone. Uh, so your energy is a reflection of uh, us uh, leading you. But literally 12 years ago, um, or even closer to you know, 10 years, nothing was right here. Wow. None of this existed. And it's through, you know, it's through donations and through uh, the children, you know, getting their hustle on and selling certain things, you know, and, and it, it, all the little different ways you can raise money, mm -hmm. it has come together. And then, you know, as you can see, black dolls for black children. I mean, I saw the, <laughs> our revolutionary campaign that if I go anywhere and I see some white dolls, I'm going to throw them away and I'm going to come back with <laughs> nothing but black dolls. So I did an exorcism uh, one year where we, we took the white doll out of the, uh, the, the orphanage. It was actually the same, it was the same place here, but it was further down. And I literally ripped the body parts off and tell them we are... You know, we're destroying the, 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 the disconnect and the destruction of, of our children because when they see uh, these little Barbie dolls and their little stringy little hair and folks actually you know they want to do a bunch of wild stuff, mm -hmm. cut their hair off and throw a little long <laughs> wig on and things like that. And, you know, it's really more psychological than we can imagine. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, so we begin to, to push the energy, this red, black, green and gold, you know, the colors of God and the colors of the revolution, the colors of us as a people that's beginning to this do what we need to fix our problems and things like that. Now, yeah, they do have white people and other people come and donate also, so I would never say that it's just all us as black people. But uh, what we've been trying to do is get more of our folks involved. Because you know, every time you, you, you know, look on TV, they got a, a group of fake missionaries talking about they're doing this and they're doing that. And some of them are doing certain things, but I always say that, man, it's the cover for all the evil stuff they be doing. <laughs> and what you have in is just, we come here, there's no strings attached. Nice. We just, only thing I ever want to see is progress. That's the only thing I tell people. And then my brothers and sisters want to do anything with me or connect with me. It's like, if we're going to do anything, we, like you say, you roll with the best in you. And that's what we want to do. You want to just roll to where you can focus and build together and strong. And, and I appreciate it. you coming to I, join I mean, the really, fight and the energy. So. Listen, we need you. So if you're watching this, I want to tell you, please, come on our next tour to Ghana it's going to be in May and if you haven't check out the website Africa for the Africans if you can't make it please donate to this man's business it is really being to use you know how I am I'll be like I ain't trying to be with people that's not <laughs> trying to help and they he is really getting it in putting in the work so if you can't make it this year do not hesitate to donate because your your money your your proceeds is being put to use, and I'm so grateful for this opportunity. So come on down. Make sure you check out Bumani, AfricaForTheAfricans.org. I'm so I'm so grateful to be here. You should be here too. Absolutely, family. We keep it strong. We are one. Okay. Awesome. You did good. I love you. I want to move.